Get ready to rev up your engines and dive into some mind-blowing stories of unsung heroes who dared to dream big. Inventing can be a thrilling ride, but it's not always smooth sailing, especially when you're challenging the status quo and taking on industry giants. Throughout history, we've seen innovators go head-to-head -head with market leaders, fighting for their piece of the pie, but this intense rivalry has sometimes come at a deadly cost. We'll uncover six genius inventors who paid the ultimate price for pushing boundaries, and their groundbreaking ideas were left to collect dust. Let's kick things off with Tom Ogle, a young trailblazer from El Paso, who around four decades ago created an unbelievable fuel efficiency system that could revolutionize any vehicle on the road. Imagine being the hero who saves the day with a game-changing invention during one of America's biggest energy crises. Tomagle didn't reinvent the wheel, but he added some cool tweaks that made his vaporized fuel system stand out. This genius device let cars travel an incredible 200 miles on just two gallons of gas. Talk about mileage magic. It was the late 70s and the US was in a fuel frenzy with prices hitting astronomical numbers. Now, most car engines work by sucking in air and liquid fuel through a carburetor and fuel pump, but Tom's innovation took it to a whole new level by vaporizing the fuel instead. Imagine replacing an entire carburetor and fuel pump system with just one sleek black box. That's exactly what inventor Dick Ogle did. He took it a step further by injecting vaporized gasoline directly into the combustion chambers, making his innovation so straightforward. Scientists initially thought it couldn't possibly work. But, in 1977, Ogle decided to put his creation to the test on a 1974 Galaxy with a powerful V8 engine and a three-gallon tank ready to unleash its revolutionary potential. Get this, in 1981, Tom Ogle made history with his game-changing, multiple-vapor-system-powered car. He traveled an astonishing 100 miles on just one tank, a feat no one thought possible for a 4,000-pound vehicle. That's when people started to realize the full potential of his invention, it could perform even better in lighter cars. But, Tom Ogle's bright future was tragically cut short. What happened next might shock you. He died at just 24 years old, but what led to his untimely demise? Imagine a life-saving innovation being turned upside down by tragedy. Charles Kettering wasn't involved in this story, it's about Garrett A. Morgan's friend, the inventor Joseph Day Ogle, who fought for public access to a revolutionary fuel-efficient design, worth $25 million on the market. He rejected a massive offer and wanted to make his invention affordable for all, but fate had other plans. His life was cut short in an untimely death that left many questioning whether it was a terrible accident or something more sinister, leaving behind business partners who couldn't accept the tragic circumstances. Get ready to blow your mind, there's this wild story about Royal Raymond Reif, a medical genius who left scientists stunned. His work was so revolutionary that it still divides the medical community today. Just like Nikola Tesla, the electrical wizard, Reif was way ahead of his time, and his discoveries were so bold they're still sparking heated debates among experts. But what's even more fascinating is how one of Reif's incredible inventions vanished into thin air. Get ready for a mind-blowing story. Reif was like a superhero ahead of his time when it came to finding a cure for cancer. Unfortunately, just as Tesla's vision for free energy faced opposition from big money, Reif's groundbreaking discovery hit some major roadblocks too. Back in the 1920s, this genius inventor created a revolutionary device that produced low-energy waves, basically, radio-frequency electromagnetic fields. He believed diseases gave off special electromagnetic signatures and since bacteria were at the root of many illnesses, he designed two game-changing machines, one to spot these tiny troublemakers under the microscope, and another that would shatter their cells with vibrations tuned to their resonant frequency. Meet Ray Reif, a scientist who dared to dream big, he wanted to take down cancer cells with sound. Reif believed his invention could send out special frequencies that would target and destroy cancer-causing cells without harming healthy tissue nearby. After putting his machine through rigorous testing, Reif was thrilled to see stunning results, making it seem like his device had the power to wipe out cancer. But just as he was about to share this potential game-changer with the world, top medical groups stepped in, the American Medical Association slammed his experiments and the American Cancer Society published a study that raised serious doubts, revealing sound waves could shatter glass but Reif's machine wasn't strong enough to kill bacteria. Despite this, Reif remained determined to tweak his invention and prove its effectiveness on patients, but he was ultimately shut down. Buckle up, folks. We've got some wild stories to share about two pioneers who dared to think differently. Unfortunately, their groundbreaking inventions were met with more skepticism than support. Take Royal Rife's machine, for instance. It was so promising that health clinics using it ended up getting sued and convicted of fraud. This devastating news crushed Rife, forcing him into a life as a recluse after a lab fire in the 1950s destroyed his life's work. 
Meanwhile, another unconventional genius, Wilhelm Reich, tried to tame the skies with his quirky cloudbuster. But let's dive deeper into these fascinating tales of innovation and controversy. Get ready for some wild science. Imagine a cosmic force holding together clouds. That's orgone energy in a nutshell. It's kind of like chai from traditional Chinese belief, but mainstream scientists are still waiting for proof of its existence. In the 1950s, Austrian psychoanalyst Wilhelm Reich took on the challenge inventing this epic device called the Cloudbuster to harness it. His plan, influence the atmosphere to either bring on a rainstorm or keep the sun shining bright. And guess what? Reports from back then claim he was a total rock star with his design. Picture this far out contraption hollow tubes reaching for the sky, grounded by water, straight out of a sci-fi flick. You won't believe what happened next. Word of Rach's cloud-busting skills spread like wildfire, and before long, Maine blueberry farmers were knocking on his door, literally offering him cash to put an end to their crippling drought. So Rach fires up the cloudbuster and gives it a whirl for about an hour. Fast forward 24 hours, guess what? The skies open up and those desperate farmers can breathe a sigh of relief as the rain saves their crop. But here's the thing, not everyone was convinced. Some folks thought it was just a lucky break, calling it a coincidence. What do you think, pure luck or is there something more to Rach's cloud-busting magic buckle up, folks? Was the rain we're about to talk about just a coincidence or did some genius inventor pull the strings? Wilhelm Rach claimed his invention, the cloudbuster, was capable of harnessing a mysterious energy called orgone which he believed could even fight diseases like cancer. Based on his wild theory that our sex drive is a universal life force, Rach coined orgone from orgasm and organism. Now, you might think this sounds far-fetched, but the results were real, until powerful forces decided to shut him down. The FDA stepped in with the courts, ordering all of Rach's orgone energy-related publications and equipment be completely destroyed. What do you think? Was Rach onto something or just a crackpot? Let me know in the comments. Get ready for some mind-blowing innovation. Valerian Abakovsky, a genius engineer, took the world by storm in 1917 with his fearless invention, the first ever aero wagon. This game-changing rail car harnessed an airplane engine's power and combined it with a high-speed rail system. Imagine zooming from one place to another at breakneck speeds using a sleek train powered by a plane's might, all thanks to Abakovsky's bold vision. But what happened next? His invention was suppressed, leaving behind only whispers of its existence in the dusty pages of history books. And that's where our story gets really interesting. Imagine a train carriage, but instead of a horse pulling it, this radical invention had a massive twin-blade propeller at the front. Nikolai Abakovsky created this aerotrain in response to the Soviet need for fast travel between Moscow and Tula. The regular trains were too slow, so he dreamt up his brilliant aero wagon. This beast could cruise at an astonishing 140 cameras per hour, getting everyone buzzing about the possibilities of super speedy transportation. However, Abakovsky's ambition got the better of him. He probably pushed his design too far, which unfortunately led to some major stability issues at those incredible speeds. Get ready to blast back to the roaring 20s. On July 24, 1921, disaster struck when an experimental vehicle called the Aero Wagon veered off course while racing from Tula to Moscow at breakneck speed, claiming seven lives out of 22 passengers on board. One of those fatalities was Valerian Abakovsky, a genius inventor whose passion for innovation was cut short in its prime. He dreamed big, envisioning an era where the rail industry ditched fossil fuels and harnessed the power of flight to revolutionize transportation. The futuristic-looking Aero Wagon was his brainchild, a sleek machine that borrowed from aviation to make trains more efficient and eco-friendly. Although Abakovsky's vision was way ahead of its time, it's unfortunate that his groundbreaking work went largely unrecognized, even though its potential could have been a game-changer for the rail industry. Let's dive into how our brains process visual information. When we look at an image, our eyes send signals to the brain's visual cortex. It's like a highway for data. This amazing part of our brain starts to make sense of what we're seeing by recognizing shapes, colors, and patterns. Think of it like putting together a puzzle. As our brain works through the pieces, a complete picture emerges, allowing us to understand and react to what we're looking at. 